Hey, it's Tenla here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I want to show you how to overlay the telemetry data from your bike computer onto the videos or from your smart watch like a Garmin watch or whatnot uh, to get that telemetry data onto the videos just like how I, I show you it here. As you can see, I have cadence um, which coming off from the cadence sensors and the speed which it also coming off from the speed sensors not from GPS data and you can see at the lower right I got the heart rate uh, which also coming off from my Garmin watch okay and all the information like uh, uh, over here like grade grading what, whatnot and the route that I took uh, is coming off from GPS data from the my computer okay so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that, and how to do this one, okay? Just follow along with me. Uh, it's, it's not that easy to figure out by yourself, but uh, yeah. Okay, first of all, you're gonna need the dashware, which is free to use uh, and download. Uh, basically, you go onto this dashware.net website and hit download now button. And once it's downloaded, you can install it into your system. Uh, I'm just gonna do it for my Windows system, okay? If you're on Mac or Apple computers, you're on your own. So yeah, just uh, I already have it install uh, the Dashware app, okay? So let's open it up and create a new project file. New project. I'm gonna call it Dashware Tutorial. Okay. Hit OK. First of all, you can get into this tab, like a project tab file and uh, video files. I'm just going to add the videos that I want to overlay the information onto. So I have that's where tutorial here with two files. One is 4K videos and let's try with 4K video. OK, OK, data extraction fail. So it means that the dash where doesn't support 4K video file. OK, so but if you want to know how to do 4k videos overlay uh, which gonna be my next video okay but for this video I'm gonna keep it simple just uh, because that's where it can only support 1080p video file so let's remove this file and add a 1080p video file okay here okay let's come back to this uh, later on okay now you have that all that information of video file that's you can play it's fine but not and uh, as you know, and this file is 29.97 frame per second. It's not like exactly 30 frame per second. Uh, you have to know what kind of frame rate that your video file is. Okay, let's save this project file. Let's save project. Finish. Okay, let's close it. We're going to come back to the data file, okay? Okay, in order to input the data file, telemetry data file um, from your smart watch, from Garmin watch, or from the bike computer, I have the Site Plus uh, M1 bike computer. As you can see on the video file, I have this one uh, um, that I've been using for like a couple of weeks, and it's, it's worked great. And then you're gonna use the exported fit file from this bike computer, and we're gonna use that information and put it onto the dashware, okay? But before doing that, we need to have some requirement software first. Okay, so let's go on to the Garmin website and developer uh, section here. So let's go into this website and hit accept and download it. And you're going to be saving a lot of information there. Show in folder. So there it is. It's there and you need to extract all of it. Hit this one, extract. Okay, it's going to take a while. But before it finish, let's go to this tab and using fit CSV tool on Windows. So you need to download uh, Java Runtime Environment A. Click on it and you get into this page and you can download Java, okay? So here, here it is. You download it and you need to install it onto your system. Without Java, the fit tool won't work, okay? So you need to have the Java onto your system, okay? To verify whether your system had Java, you can run a command prompt app here and issue the command Java that version 
Okay, so here it is. You can see version eight. Okay, I have that Java runtime environment on my system. So if you don't have anything popping out, you don't have it installed. Just install the Java file. Okay, to verify that, go back to uh, Garmin website. As you can see, verify where that command from. Let's go back to see if it's finished downloading the fit SDK developer tool. So into the download and here it is, we extract it out. And what you can do is that copy this folder, uh, you cut it and you paste it into program files, um, 32 bits. Okay. You put that folder into this kind of like system folder easy to to remember basically for me because if I delete anything from download I still have that on my system okay so this is the folder uh, that we're gonna be interested in the Java folder so all these tools or the batch file tool that we're gonna use fit to CSV okay let's get the uh, telemetry data from your smart watch Garmin watch what I have a venue to uh, so let's hit connect connect into your Garmin Okay, and then you go into activities and all activities you can see this Toronto cycling here you click on it and One you need to export it out you can hit this one Like see more you hit this one and you export original. Okay hit export original and there it is and then that open it up and we're gonna extract this one out as well. That's the uh, fit file from Garmin Watch. Okay, so let's extract it out, and here it is, the fit file. Okay, so let's copy this file onto uh, the dashboard tutorial paste. Okay, that's from Garmin Watch. Okay, so let's save it into like Garmin Activity. Okay, there you go. Okay, so let's save it here. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Okay, so go back to Dashware and we're gonna add that data file. The problem you're gonna see is that, let's see, into the fit format file. So, so once you add this one, it's gonna give you error. You're gonna, not gonna be going anywhere because it doesn't accept kind of information from that fit file per se, but I'm going to show you basically how to uh, correct that. Okay. If you have a bike computer like I do, like a Sci plus bike computer like this, as you can see here, uh, we're going to use their app called X O S S app to export fit information from the bike computer. First, you need to uh, basically sync this data information from the bike computer onto your phone and then from the phone app you can extract it out i'm going to show you over here uh, what you need to basically um, go onto this x or ss app and uh, go into the workout and select the workout that you want to use the information let's check this out let's get the information and export that fit data file so you can save that fit data file, okay? So the quickest way is the quick share. You hit quick share and then copy link uh, and, and there, yeah. So you kind of copy this link. Uh, the way I do it is that I'm gonna use my uh, messaging app, like a WhatsApp, you know? All right, so I, I'll send this link so I can have information from my uh, computer so I can go onto my computer like this. WhatsApp with that link. So I click on that and there you go. There's a fit file that I just share from uh, my, my computer. I just hit download and I download the fit file. Okay, here, here it is. So that's the fit file. I just download it and I'm gonna cut that and paste it into my dashboard tutorial folder, paste. Okay, so this fit file is coming up from my bike computer, okay? So let's put it a name, uh, site plus, bike computer, okay? 
yeah so that's the fit file the first fit file is from garmin watch and the second fit file is from the bike computer itself the side blocks okay that's all i need that's how you export the fit file from your smart watch or your my computer okay so we're gonna use that information okay so now we have two fit files um, I'm just gonna be clear that we're gonna use one of them only I show you the way to extract or to export the Garmin watch fit uh, activity files uh, for the information but uh, in this tutorial we're gonna use the site plus by computer fit file um, so here it is this uh, site plus fit file that we're gonna convert it into the CSV file format. And the way to do it, you uh, have to go into the command prompt uh, app. So hit that. And uh, you remember that we downloaded the, the, um, uh, the fit SDK uh, from Garmin developer tool. Uh, go into the Java folder. So we're gonna copy this directory, copy and go back to the command prompt and we gonna, we're gonna change into that directory uh, by issuing a command like cd and then on your mouse uh, right click to paste that directory location and then hit enter on your keyboard and uh, we're gonna go into that directory okay and once we go into that directory we can issue a command uh, like so Okay, here we go. Okay, there. We're gonna give a command similar like this onto the screen. Uh, Java uh, dash uh, option jazz and then fit uh, CSV tool. That kind of option near there that we're gonna use and then we're gonna use the date format, uh, the international date format, um, uh, and then the longitude and the, uh, the 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 latitude in degree instead of like um, the semicircle okay and then option uh, s uh, all the information is available on the common developer tool uh, website okay so definition none and the data we only interested in the uh, record data um, if it's empty we don't we don't want that so this command basically convert all that information from the fit file into the csv file format that we can use for the dash where okay so after this one we're gonna point it into the fit uh, file um, I'll be over here and this there so we're gonna copy this locations and then command prom and paste it in there similar to uh, previous uh, step we are gonna use the mouse the right button mouse to paste it into this uh, kind of like command prompt and then dash and then the fit file we copy that and then go back to paste it in there and then dot fit and then don't forget the semicolon to close that out and then hit enter to let it convert it into the csv file format as you can see it pops up right here all right we're interested in the data file only okay so this file okay so this is the end of the part one videos how to overlay telemetry data from the bike computer onto the video file to make it look more interesting and uh, for the rest of the videos you can enjoy the final product how i synchronize between the data and the video file and look for the next part which is part two uh, i put it down in the description so you won't miss it or i pinned the comment uh, for the part two videos okay just uh just hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the part two videos how to overlay the telemetry data uh, for your videos okay